I think that's that's the struggle, especially for a lot of those elite players that we're maybe expecting to see in a top eight or that we expect to come out here and maybe it's not strange for them to win. Is el And this is what happens when you play an arcade legacy game out here in Korea, out here in, J in Japan, wherever, right? Yeah. Can they avoid the landmine players, those high-level players that we, we know, maybe we don't expect them to win, but in a first-to-two tournament situation like that, it would not be strange for them to be able to beat one of those players, drop them into that loser's bracket where all of a sudden the win becomes a lot less feasible. Yeah, and that, you know, that's that's something that you mentioned, like, you know, those landmines, there's a lot of them over here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of there's them. There's too many. They're hidden. You can't see them. Okay, here we go. Sugumi, I mean, dude. Uh, so far today, Huarang has been the popular choice. Yeah, we've seen at least at least four or five already, man. Yeah. We've seen some Lays, some Gigas. Actually, this is crazy. The Filipino character using the... The Filipino, the Filipino, the Filipino the, player. Whoa. <laughs> this is, have we seen this before? Maybe not, right? Right? Well, it, it's a first for everything. Right now, yeah. Scorcho holding his own against Sugumi from Korea. Damn, this is a pride match for sure. Step in, faints with it. Oh, man. No, the raw super? I, I don't think that's going to hit. But yeah, get ready to fly, but not, not, not on feeling, you. Feeling the Yomi a little bit too much. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a good time to do it is at the start, right? Mm. Get a feel for your opponent. Yeah, that's fine. It's easy to give it up now. But for El Scorcho, yeah, settle it down now a little bit. See him hanging back a lot more. Not trying to go in. Gets the counter hit low. No whip punish just a little bit too late. Sukumi in rage, too. Dangerous situation. Pressing. Okay, goes for the low that time. That was very interesting. El Scorcho looking for that opportunity, but look, these one two jabs. He's just taking these just, jab strings. Just oppressing El Scorcho right now. Oh my god. Oh, and the trade Sugumi gets it. Yeah, if he had enough life, he might have been able to come out on top yeah, there, that's but brutal. just unfortunate. Getting chopped up just lows and highs. I, I feel like El Scorcho needs to go in. And that's one oh my gosh, counter it? Yowzas, this is not looking good. He's gonna have to be careful. They put the low out there. Yeah, I feel like Sugumi just controlling the rhythm of the matchup right now. El Scorcho not having an opportunity to really pull off anything. Oh man, here we go. One more hit could do it. Oh man, that was big. And the follow the follow up if he gets the wall, that could be it. Oh, he drops it. No, oh, no, he drops it again. When you drop it and pick it back up two different times like that, he was given a blessing there. Oh my God. All that just for that one round too. That's a crazy thing. Yeah, Sukumi. hopefully he didn't waste his uh, his energy there. Right back at you, gets in his grill, launch. Got the wall for himself now. Oh, still Scorcho, controlling yeah. it. Looking really good right now. But Scorcho, this is where he shines. We saw it last time. Might have another opportunity here. Oh, just poking away. Just swinging. Oh. Finally gets uh, punished there, and look at that. Sugumi taking that first match, but El Scorcho probably was able to collect a lot of data in that matchup there. What's something that he could do to change it up? Obviously, he was eating a lot of those high jab strings, eating a lot of lows as well. It, it, felt, it, felt like, it felt like Sugumi wasn't really eating him up with mids at all. It was really just about just yeah. jab strings. Yeah, just got a little bit aggressive. It just that pressure ended up yeah. getting to him. And I feel like, you know, Josie has a lot of tools to deal with all kinds of pressure. But I feel like, you know, it was just the rhythm, how both of them played. I don't think El Scorcho was ready for uh, Sugumi coming in with the jabs. And I think that's really what separated them in that in that first matchup that we saw. So hopefully we'll see some kind of an adjustment from both of the players. But we'll see. And you know, uh, another thing, you know, with Josie, we didn't really see throws. We didn't see too much lows either. Yeah. So there was really no reason Almost for... Almost completely absent from the game. Yeah. yeah. He did get a, a counter hit four once, but he didn't capitalize and get the combo when he needed. He wasn't ready for it when it happened. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's going to be interesting. I think there's a lot of variables that are unknown still. But let's see, does Sugumi play the same style? Is he going to run in and kind of pick his, his shots? Kind of a smaller stage, too. Yeah, and it very hurt. Uh, this With is kind of stage that hurts, too, just because of the double wall breaks. I would think for El Scorcho in particular, just because of the way that he's been defending and been moving. Yeah. Likely to give Sugumi just a lot of real estate to work with and a lot of advantage. Oh, nice. And you know, he's been doing a great job with that Superman punch. He was able to land it in the clutch moment the last match, this time getting another whip punish. Nice, keeping the pressure on. All right, this time going for okay. a bit more unorthodox pokes here, but he's going to have to be careful because there is no mix-up from that. He doesn't want to use it up all, all uh, right away. So Gumi gets too aware of that. He might be able to low parry it. Yeah, he's going to start be Yeah, he's going to start scouting it out. Oh, getting the mid, the follow-up here. Okay, dangerous spot to be in. El Scorcho looking for the advantage. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, El Scorcho go for more side steps as well. Josie has uh, amazing uh, tools that work against Warung here, especially side step, magic forward, side step down forward too. Yeah, his claim has been mostly been pretty lateral so far. Yeah, actually. Yeah, he hasn't really been moving around uh, in the 3D space. Okay. Nice. nice. Okay, finally go. showing it. You, show me you're ready for it. Take this wall. Be able to roll out. Nice. He gets the follow up again here. This time getting a grab. Now starting to mix it up. Becoming more of a threat here. Ooh, nice duck, but he fuzzy. Not Wasn't the, ready for it. Not the optimal punish, but yeah, still able to at least maintain pressure afterwards. Get opens up for the hit potential for that hit after. I mean, we just saw all these these, these past, past few rounds, and El Scorcho is already looking much better than he has in the first match. I mean, that's Tekken too, man. You gotta warm up sometimes, right? Yeah. It's like, it takes everybody a little bit longer. Well, we're obviously learning more about the matchup and this player. Oh, he went for the low after that time. Nice transition again. And it's, it's looking like it's working. So Google doesn't so, have an answer for the low. Yeah, I mean, he went low twice to say this just this round three times. No oh scout at gosh. all from Sugumi. It's El Scorcho right back in this. I think he's starting to figure out that he doesn't like to duck. He, he doesn't want to duck. Starting to believe a little bit. Oh. And here you see what? AK? And who is this? Is that Daniel Mado? Yeah, it is. Why didn't know Daniel Mado was here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, he came uh well he's, 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 he's at least registered, but I don't I don't think they're in the same pool. I don't think that's him. It looked like him from behind. I don't want to be that guy that, you know, says everyone looks alike, but he looked like I'll him be, from behind. I'll be that guy. Okay. I'll be that guy. Wait, okay, it's not him. It wasn't. It's not him. It's not him. All right. I'm I'm mildly racist. This is all right. <laughs> but AK ended up winning that match. But you know but you know what uh, I mean AK in particular, he's swimming in the pool. There's a lot of gins in this pool in particular. I feel like he might be comfortable in that matchup. You know, he ended up beating uh, Obviously, yeah, yeah. a lot of the good ones recently in tournament. Ugh, that hurts. Oh my gosh, he went for the butterfly edge. Nice power crush here, Sugumi. Oh, what a big block and an amazing punish here from El Scorcho. He's going for the big damage too. Oh, look at that. And the carry. Yo, compared to the first game, El Scorcho is, is looking much more alive. Oh yeah. And this matchup, too, with such epic things be going beyond behind it, the Korean player using the Korean character, the Filipino and again. player with the Filipino character. Another step in low to close it out. El Scorcho now up. You can tell now he's playing with a different level of confidence, yeah. too. Oh, man, he's blocking and he's starting to punish. Look at that, chopping away with those lows. Sugumi has not shown that he's willing to scout those lows. Uh oh. In, in return, Scorcho says, I see yours. Take it to the wall. Oh. He hesitated a bit too much there, but he still has the... This is the board part. He's keeping them there for the pressure. Yeah. But Sugumi slowly sidestepping and now turning the tables. If you can't sidestep and you can't back that, you're going to have to eat it. And that's what's happening here. Uh-oh. This time. And now he finally starts to say, okay, I see you. Scouts oh, but he drops it. Caught him with the mids. Still with good control overall here in good position. Oh, yeah. He, plus, he has a huge life lead here. Oh, goes for the mid again. Nice. I like how El Scorcho is starting to use the counter jab. Not letting him go in. Now, starting to move. A lot of back and forth so far this match. El Scorcho, yeah, we really... I like how he's starting to wake up the different options as the match progresses. Oh, man. Nice sequence there. From Sugumi using the rage drive. And look at that here. Potential final round of the set. Set point, that's two rounds straight for Tsugumi too. You wanna go low? I'll show you low. And that's thing, that's a big that's a big call call out right there. Using the just frame skyrocket, letting him know, hey, you better not be ducking. I'm gonna get you. Don't duck him, please don't press anything. Uh oh, El Scorcho again using the tracking moves, catching Tsugumi. Here goes a big counter hit. Magic four, that's gonna put him on the wall. Oh, nope. he drops the combo, that was crucial. He needs this. Oh, he tried to use a counter hit setup. Yeah, got the flat float with the jabs though. Oh, Ooh, no, that, he didn't go forward. Neutral hop kick, that's not what he wanted. Uh oh, this could be big. Oh no, oh no, not like this. One more mix up, one more mix up. Spring kick, keeping El Scorcho in this game. Oh man. Yowzas, here we go, final round. 
But what's going to happen, you know, he had, he's kind of went away from using the lows. This might be the right time to pull it out. And he returns to go. Oh, not now. Wow. Though Perry puts you right back in the wall. This is why Scorcho's lost it before. Wow, what a duck. Rotates around, takes advantage of the pressure. Able to at least get in there afterwards, but then Sugumi comes in low to close it out. Good set. Man, what a set between these two. I mean, it went back and forth. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. A lot of change. As, as, as you said earlier, right? As the match went on, it felt like El Scorcho in particular, he awakened the different options and the different approaches as the set went on longer.